Today in the news, Zen 4 is coming earlier than we thought. Dr. Sue tells us what she really thinks about the 6500 XT, and uh, did she give us a clue during that earnings call? What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. It looks like Christmas is kind of coming early this year. The company just had their earnings call for the second quarter of this year, and they had some pretty interesting information about the uh, release dates. As you know, the Zen 4 based generation on the AM5 platform was announced during CES this year, or at least the release window was announced, and it was slated for fall of 2022. I know that I've been saying that a lot lately, but fall is between the 22nd of September to the 21st of December. Recently though, what we've been hearing is a release date of September 15th. So I was pretty skeptical about that specific date because it's before fall. Now though, during that earnings call, Dr. Lisa Su said, and let me play the clip. Looking ahead, we're on track to launch our all new five nanometer Ryzen 7000 desktop processors and AM5 platforms later this quarter with leadership performance in gaming and content creation. So yeah, this quarter, it looks like September 15th is likely the actual release date. Actually, as I was editing this video, WCCF Tech released information from their sources saying that the announcement would be on August 29th. So at the end of this month, reviews would be available on September 13th and the launch would be on September 15th. Given the precision of the info, including the time and time zone, I think that it's a lock-in. Another thing that caught my attention is this. Our next generation RDNA 3 architecture is another major step forward for our graphics roadmap, delivering more than a 50% generational improvement in performance per watt by combining our most advanced gaming architecture with five nanometer chiplet manufacturing. Now, it might be just a complete oversight on my part, or maybe I'm wrong about this, but by Dr. Su saying that they're combining their best tech with five nanometer chiplet manufacturing, doesn't that point towards a multi-chiplet GPU? I'm saying this because for the last couple of months, we've been hearing that uh, AMD wouldn't actually use more than one graphics chiplet for their gaming GPUs. It would have one graphics die and up to six memory complex dies is at least what we've been hearing. We know that the graphics are manufactured at five nanometers, while the MCDs or memory complex dies should be at six nanometers, a seven nanometer variant. So that points to at least a single dual graphics die GPU, right? Maybe I'm wrong, but it would corroborate Greymon 55's leak about a Navi 3X based GPU with more than one graphics die. Or it could just be semantics, who knows? And lastly, for the earnings call, we finally have confirmation of what, uh, well, everyone was thinking. And uh, you know what? Actually, let me just play the clip for you so you can hear it for yourself. You know, as we go into the PC market, you know, we've deliberately um, focused our PC market on, you know, let's call it the more premium segments. So. Uh, gaming, um, as well as, you know, high end, um, you know, sort of the ultra premium. She then added, um, yeah, there are some parts of the PC market that are very price sensitive, like the, you know, the low end. And, um, like I said, we've, uh, tried to reduce our exposure there, um, you know, going forward. So, you know, I think, I don't think the dynamics change a lot. I think it's, it's always a very competitive market. And, you know, the, the key thing there is to have, um, you know, very, uh, very strong roadmap. So yeah, it looks like the 6500 XT and 6400 might be the last of their kind. AMD is uh, home simpsoning themselves away from the low end market. Now, I don't believe that uh, that segment is going to be gone completely, but there's a big chance that we're looking at OEM only GPUs for the low end. So that's what I got from the uh, earnings call. Also, I gotta admit, AMD is really good at hiding their CPUs this time around, am I right? Back with Zen Plus and Zen 2, it was rumors and leaks galore all over the place. Zen 3 did a better job, but Zen 4 is a ghost. Besides that one troll Zen 4 benchmark on userbenchmark.com, of course. Next up, we got Sabrent in the news. The company just teased a brand new SSD with a pretty interesting pitch. It's called the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus G. This model is supposed to be optimized for gaming scenarios thanks to their O2 game optimized firmware and optimizations for direct storage API. Now, 
I'll be honest, it sounds like a lot of marketing words, but I'll let the big tech reviewers take this one on. I'm sure Digital Foundry or Gamers Nexus is gonna tackle it. I only have one thing to point out. No games on PC make use of direct storage API right now. And the first one, for Spoken, only comes out next year. Now, of course, there could be a bunch of games that use that technology slated for 2023, and maybe that SSD will make a huge difference. But at that point, Gen 5 and VMEs will probably be commonplace. But yeah, only the future will tell. We'll have to wait until it actually gets released. Anyways, guys, that was pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video right here. So subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Oh, that was okay. <laughs>